Hey, good morning everybody. Jim Hoffman here, pastor at St. John's United Methodist Church. It's a beautiful Monday morning. It is time for our daily devotion. So I want to invite you to come and join me as we gather together for a few moments just together. Uh, centered on God's Word and the devotion for today. I'm looking forward to spending some moments with you. Hope you'll come and join me. As you do, if you want to leave a quick comment on the St. John's Facebook page down there in the comment section, would appreciate that. It tells me who's here, and I'll say good morning to you. If you want to leave a comment uh, later on as you watch this, if you're someone that watches this later, leave a comment, let me know you were here. would appreciate you doing that. Just kind of watching to see if anybody joins. Might be a late crowd today. Might be a bunch of you watching this later today. <laughs> Who knows? We shall see. We're going to be reading out of Psalm chapter 86 today, the first seven verses. The 86th Psalm, chapter uh, 86th Psalm, verses 1 to 7. I'll give it just a little bit longer and I think we'll go ahead and get started. Don't see anybody here with me yet, but. Somebody's bound to join while I'm in the middle of this, and that's fine. Love to have you. Psalm 86, verses 1 to 7. All right, here's our opening prayer. O oh God, by your spoken word, you created everything that is. By your incarnate word, you redeemed us. By your comforting word, you are with us still. Prepare us now to hear your word to us this day. Amen. Psalm 86. O Eternal One, lend an ear to my prayer and answer me, for I am weak and wanting. Safeguard my soul, for I remain loyal to you. Save me, your servant, who trust in you, my God. O Lord, please be merciful to me, as all day long I cry out to you. Bring joy into the life of your servant. For it's only to you, O Lord, that I offer my soul. O Lord, you are good and ready to forgive. Your loyal, to, loyal love flows generously over all who cry out to you. O Eternal One, lend an ear and hear my prayer, listening to my pleading voice. When times of trouble come, I will call to you, because I know you will respond to me. Good morning, Jack and Pat. Glad you're both here this morning. Our uh, devotion writer is Marty Smith. Marty is from Pennsylvania. And the focus verse is verse 7. In the NRSV, it reads, In the day of my trouble, I will call on you, for you will answer me. Here's Marty's devotion for today. After a difficult shoulder surgery, I was severely limited in my daily activities and spent many of my days alone. I developed anxiety and, according to my counselor, a form of PTSD. I was depressed, lost weight, and couldn't sleep. I was shaking uncontrollably. I was overwhelmed with negative thoughts. Daily, I would call out to God, Please help me, God. I can't live like this. One afternoon, a voice in my mind said, You'll make it. Just that simple phrase, Soon after, with the proper medication, much prayer, professional counseling, the support of my wonderful wife, I began to recover. I would not wish this experience on anyone, but through all of this, I gained new understanding and concern 
for mental health issues as well as a better relationship with God. When I learned how to truly open myself to God's spirit and strength, <clears throat> God really did answer me in my time of need. And so the thought for the day from Marty is, God truly listens to me in my times of need. I give thanks to God for the fact that um, I, I really don't have uh, much of these kinds of issues. I have never really been a highly anxious personality type. Um, I don't uh, suffer from post-traumatic stress syndrome. I'm not depressed. Uh, I sleep plenty. Believe me, I love my sleep. I can battle sometimes most of the negative thoughts that are in my head and, and can kind of put that at bay. Um, I believe in the positive kinds of things of life and, and such. I, I truly um, feel for families who have issues like this and have to deal with these kinds of things. And I feel sorry for those that, that my heart goes out to those that are, are people who deal with things uh, on an individual basis that are debilitating, particularly when it comes to psychological kinds of things. Margaret's niece, <clears throat> Margaret's niece, Hope, falls into that category. And, and unfortunately, it is um, very limiting for her. And it is something that it appears like no matter what they have her on for medication or anything like that, it appears that it's something that she's going to deal with for all the rest of her life. And it may cause her to do serious harm to herself. It may cause her to do serious harm to someone else. We're not quite sure, but uh, it is a struggle for Margaret's sister and uh, Monique and, and for her parents um, because they love their granddaughter severely and dearly. But this is something that's, that's just a challenge for them. And I'm thankful to God that um, I, I know that uh, when I pray, God's listening to me. And, and I know that no matter what's on my heart or on my mind, that God is more than capable of helping me overcome some of those challenges in my life. There's nothing too daunting that God can't overcome for any one of us, um, as long as we're willing to be open to it. And I think that's the unfortunate thing for many who suffer from mental illness it makes it really difficult for them to be open to that kind of hearing of the Spirit of God and being able to respond to it. And so I pray today for families who are dealing with these kinds of things and hope that God would uh, just simply bring some calm and some peace and some strength to these families so that they might be able to persevere through what is a significant and a daunting challenge in time. And for the rest of us who just have simple moments of doubt, simple moments where we're anxious or simple moments where we just feel overwhelmed by life, I pray that God be with us. I pray that God watch over us and that God give us the strength to persevere as well. Let's take a moment to pause and pray. So gracious God, we find ourselves living in the middle of times and days that can be overwhelming for many of us, depressing, can create anxiety, grief, post-traumatic stress, or maybe even push us deeper to listen to the negative voice in our heads. We thank you that you give us strength every single day, and we thank you that your love can sustain us in our daily lives. So may we lean in upon your strength and look for your love that does sustain so that we might persevere each and every day. In Christ we pray. Amen. Well, great to have all of you today. Hello, Shirley. Glad you, <coughs> excuse me, glad you made it today as well. Uh, for those of you that watch this a little bit later on, don't forget, also leave a quick comment. Let me know you were present. Would appreciate you doing that. Uh, don't forget to also take an opportunity to um, just maybe post this on your own Facebook page and share with your family and friends. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Monday. God's peace and grace be upon you, and I will look forward to being back with you tomorrow for our devotion time. Have a great rest of your Monday, friends, and thanks.